I'm Justin, and this is Pisces Printing. So on today's little um, episode, we're going to be taking a look, kind of going back to the roots of where I started on the speakers. Um, it kind of got a little crazy, I think, in what I was trying to do. So I went back to the beginning and kind of looked at my designs, and um, this is the very first one. And I liked the way that it worked, and it was simple, and um, I kind of just looked at what worked and what didn't, and what I ended up coming up with was this little guy right here. So um, basically I went smaller, and then I made the cone and the coil as light as possible to get as much energy transfer from the magnet's motor to actual sound instead of wasting a ton of energy just trying to move unnecessary weight. So um, I went with really thin wire this time. I dropped from a uh, 28 gauge to a 36 gauge magnet wire. And um, I went up in TPU hardness from a uh, shore hardness of 80A to a shore hardness of 95A. So this is a much stiffer um, surround and um, voice coil suspension. I also cut a bunch of weight out of the voice coil suspension by doing it hollow, since it doesn't have to be airtight. Um, the whole body itself actually houses the magnets now to simplify printing and assembly. And, um, yeah. So, I will show you the, um, the put-together of this speaker. And then I'll show you some sound clips of it playing. And, yeah. That's what we're gonna do now.
Okay, so um, you've probably seen the um, the comparison now between the new speaker and the old speaker. And um, the old speaker was actually a lot better at producing lower frequency sounds, which I anticipated being that it was a longer stroke, much um, looser speaker because of the um, super flexible surround and the surround being so wide. But the, um, the new speaker now is much better at delivering mids and highs, which is what I was going for. So um, I'm very happy with how this turned out and I'm kind of glad that I revisited kind of where I started on these speakers. I kind of got away from what I wanted to do with this. Um, I was kind of going to make a speaker to see how far you could come along with 3D printing to get as close to what you can buy in a store. And um, the last speaker, it was kind of, it was crazy. I mean, I had a resin printer and washers and bolts and there was nuts involved that had been cut down and it just, it kind of got further and further away from being fully 3D printed, so. Um, so on the next one, I kind of want to see about, instead of making a speaker, I want to see about actually putting an enclosure around this and seeing what kind of differences we can make. Um, so this is the first speaker that actually has mounting holes built into it. All the others were kind of just standalone free air speakers. But this one I designed to actually be put into an enclosure. And um, I recently got a hold of a CNC and a laser cutter. So I'm going to probably see how some different materials react to this. We'll probably do a 3D printed enclosure. And then we'll probably do a wood enclosure on the CNC. And maybe a polycarbonate enclosure from the laser. And we'll kind of just see how each one acts with the speakers and the sounds and what comes out of them. So that's going to be the plan for next time. Um, yeah. So I guess if you don't want to miss the um, upcoming events here with the speaker and actually going in an enclosure and then kind of seeing what the sound's doing, um, go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell to see when it goes live. Um, if you enjoyed the content of this video, uh, go ahead and hit that like button for me. It helps get this out to other people to see, and hopefully they like it as well.